Maya Marcano's body was found. Trump files motion to restore his Twitter account. DeSantis sues Biden administration over border security. 19-year-old college student Maya Marcano went missing more than a week ago. After much searching, her body was found near an Orlando apartment complex. After days of searching, teens found the body around 10.45 a.m. Saturday morning near Timberscan Apartments. Orange County Sheriff John Mina said at a Saturday news conference, Although medical examiners have yet to confirm the body's identity, authorities are certain it is a missing victim. A purse with Mercano's identification was found near the body and detectives notified Mercano's family of the discovery. Before going missing, Mercano was last seen on the evening of September 24th. Mercano was working at the Arden Villa apartment complex where she lived and worked when a maintenance worker at the complex used a master key fob to access her apartment. The maintenance worker, Armando Caballero of 27, had worked at the complex since June and is considered a person of interest in the case. He had demonstrated a romantic interest in Maya. This was repeatedly rebuffed by Maya, Sheriff Mina said. On Monday, authorities found Caballero dead just north of Orlando. Mina said it appears he has killed himself. Authorities were able to access Caballero's cell phone records, which showed Caballero was at the apartment complex for about 20 minutes the night Marcano was reported missing. Former President Donald Trump has asked a federal judge in Florida to force Twitter to restore his account, which the company suspended in January following the deadly storming of the U.S. Capitol. Trump's attorneys on Friday filed a motion in U.S. District Court in Miami seeking a preliminary injunction against Twitter and its CEO, Jack Dorsey. They argue that Twitter is censoring Trump in violation of his First Amendment rights, according to the motion. The company permanently banned Trump from its platform days after his followers violently stormed the Capitol building to try to block Congress from certifying Joe Biden's presidential win. Twitter cited concerns that Trump would incite further violence prior to the ban. Trump had roughly 89 million followers on Twitter. Trump was also suspended from Facebook and Google's YouTube over similar concerns that he would provoke violence. Facebook's ban will last two years until January 7, 2023, after which the company will review his suspension. YouTube's ban is indefinite. In July, Trump filed lawsuits in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Florida against all three tech companies and their CEOs, claiming that he and other conservatives have been wrongfully censored. The motion for a preliminary injunction was filed as part of Trump's case against Twitter. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced on Tuesday that there are three new actions he's taking to address that term President Joe Biden's border crisis. Speaking at the Lee County Sheriff's Office in Fort Myers, DeSantis said the state of Florida is suing the Biden administration over its unlawful and destructive catch and release immigration policies. The governor signed Executive Order 21-223 called the Biden Border Crisis Executive Order, which includes prohibiting Florida state agencies from cooperating with the federal government when it comes to certain immigration issues. Here's a breakdown of the Biden border crisis executive order. It prohibits state agencies under governor's purview from providing support for this resettlement of illegal aliens to Florida. Directs the Florida Department of Children and Families to determine whether licenses of facilities that house unaccompanied minors should be renewed. Calls on the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to review Florida companies' compliance with E-Verify requirements. Requires state agencies to gather information regarding the scope and cost of illegal immigration in Florida. Directs the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to lawfully gather information on the number of identities of illegal aliens being transported from the border to Florida. Encourages state law enforcement to detain any vehicle transporting illegal aliens if there is reasonable suspicion it is being used for human or drug trafficking. 
request information from state officials on the number of illegal aliens who are pending criminal prosecution or have been convicted of crimes. Finally, DeSantis appointed Larry Keefe, the former U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Florida, to be what the governor called the state's public safety czar to ensure the actions directed by the executive orders are carried out. I'm Joyce Grace. Please share, subscribe, and like our channel so you can help us inform more people about the latest news around the globe. Thank you for watching our video and see you next time.